Do you know how much electricity it takes to power this light bulb for an hour? 20 watts. But how much power is that? World and Olympic cycling gold medalist Nicole Cook is on a mission to find out how much energy a typical family home uses and how long it takes to create that power. Like most people, I hear these numbers, 10 watts, 20 watts, but I don't know what they actually mean. So I've jumped on this watt bike to find out how long it takes me to pedal to power different household appliances. In the shadow of one of Britain's most iconic former power generators, she's going to start off by seeing how far it will take her to power that kitchen light bulb. After four and a half minutes and 1.8 miles, there's enough power for that one bulb. Any second now, she will have generated enough power to switch on some more light bulbs. There we go. Want a cup of tea? That'll be 31 watts, please, or 2.9 miles, please, Nicole. She makes it look easy, doesn't she? She's now been cycling for 15 minutes. And after all that cycling, Nicole must be getting peckish. While it's easy to overlook, a microwave consumes small amounts of power if left on. While making Nicole's supper, it'll use 16 watts. Nicole will need to cycle 1.4 miles to do that. She's also left her mobile phone charger on. That's going to cost her another half mile to make up for it. And if she fancies a slice of toast, that's three watts or a quarter of a mile. And a blender to make that healthy smoothie uses 25 watts or two miles. Adding up fast, isn't it? Fridges are left on 24 hours a day. The average fridge consumes nine watts of energy every hour. That's another one mile. To reduce this, you can lower the cooling setting on the fridge or buy one that's greener. Fridges, however, aren't the biggest offenders in the kitchen. The biggest offender is the washer dryer. It consumes a whopping 77 watts of energy every hour. To power all of these appliances simultaneously, Nicole would have to cycle 23.4 miles, taking her just over an hour. I couldn't believe how much energy it took me to power one single kitchen. I'm exhausted. It just goes to show how much energy we use around the home without even thinking about it. Of course, once you realize how much each appliance uses, you can be more careful in how you save energy. However, there are now ways to actually generate your own power in your home without having to jump on a watt bike. Boilers like this Baxi EcoGen can actually generate enough electricity to power all of these appliances while you heat your home. So while Nicole's out cycling, you can enjoy a nice cup of tea.